Welcome to this edition of the High Sierra Report, and it's a great one because I have a very special guest in the studio, Rob Swain from the Motherlode Century Bike Ride. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me, Kat. Thanks for being here. So, it's coming up on May 10th. Correct. And um, can you tell us kind of what the Motherlode Century is all about? Motherlode Century is about fun. It's an opportunity for people to get off the hill and see a whole different scene. It's just down in the Coloma area, which is by Placerville, so a very short drive away. And it's a whole other world. I mean, the flowers are blooming, trees are blooming, the streams are flowing. It's just stunning down there. Um, people are walking around in shorts and flip-flops, and it's just a great place to be this time of year. Yeah, it looks great, um, the pictures we're showing right now. And um, this is really cool here. What is this? Yeah, that's the post-ride party. We have live music. We have Jesse Kalen Carson playing. I'm excited to have him. He's a local guy, and he plays great music. So he'll be performing while we enjoy a post-ride dinner. There's masseuses in camp. We're selling Sierra Nevada uh, beer and local wines with our not-for-profit partner, Friends of El Dorado Trail. Um, lots of great stuff to do, very relaxing scene. Some people finish the ride and just sit in a chair and read a book. Some people go wine tasting, some people hop on the river. So there's all kinds of great stuff. And where is the camp? The camp is Earth Trek Expeditions right near the corner of um, Highway 49 and Lotus Road on the South Fork of the American River. So it's about five minutes north of Placerville. So very close. And uh, when and where is the Mother Lode Century happening? Yeah, it's Saturday, May 10 is the event day. Friday afternoon uh, prior, we have the Cannondale demo group there that's going to have Cannondale bikes for anybody to try out for free and Very cool. check it out and get spoiled and think about what your old one is not quite good enough anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, then it goes all day Saturday, Saturday evening. And what another nice thing about the event is it's a very affordable weekend. You can drive down there, pay $10 for camping, spend the night, wake up in the morning. We pamper you all day. We have SAG vehicles with mechanics, with first aid, with radio communications. They can take you to the next aid station or the next to the top of the next hill if you're getting a little slow. Um, and uh, we have you know people that feed you all day. We have a great post-ride party. So it's about being pampered and you just focus on enjoying the sights uh, you know from the comfort of your bicycle and you know enjoying the scenery. You can see things like that, goats at work there uh, on the <laughs> hills and just lots of good stuff to be had. It's a different world you know. Tahoe's beautiful but you know this is a very nice change of scenery. And it's not just for the serious cyclist, is no, it? No, not at all. We have uh, loops from 28 miles all the way to 97, and anybody can hop on a bike and do the 28. Uh, stepping up from there, the 63, 77, 84, 97, those get pretty serious. The 97 uh, mile loop has 11,000 feet of climbing, so anybody will be challenged by that. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, lots of good things to see. We ride by wineries, Jack Russell Brewing Company. Uh, you can see the photos from Rick Gunn and Eric Jarvis that are displaying there. It's just a beautiful part of El Dorado County. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a really, really fun event. And um, how affordable is it? It's cheap. You know, it's $50 right now for the 28-mile loop or $63 for any of the others. It includes your uh, SAG vehicles, your aid stations. It includes post-ride dinner, the party, the live music. Massage is a dollar a minute if you want massages. Um, beer and wine, like I said, is being sold by our not-for-profit as a fundraiser. Uh, $10 camping, you can't beat that. It's a very affordable weekend and it's a beautiful spot. Yeah, and also um, the Amgen is also happening Yeah, that thanks for mentioning well. that. Yes, so our, uh, you know, check in Friday afternoon if you want, or you can check in Friday morning, ride with us all day Saturday, spend the night again for another 10 bucks, and then get up Sunday and go check out the Amgen tour. It goes right down Salmon Falls Road, which is about six miles from our camp. And really quick, where can people go to get information and tickets? Yeah, just go to the website, please. Displaying on the screen now, Motherlode Century. That's spelled M-O-T-H-E-R-L-O-D-E. -E. So motherlodecentury.com. Lots of information on the website, and there's contact information there. If the website doesn't answer your questions, just give me a shout, and I'll do my best. Thank you so much for being here, Rob. Thank you, Kat. And we'll be back with more right after this.